and render. <sighs> oh, hi. It's me, Ross the Alcheminiaturist. And it's been a while since I've seen you like this. Usually, we don't see face to face. But this video, I need to do something first. Today is October the 23rd, about 11 o'clock at night, and I had a great idea. Because not a long time ago, I was able to buy not one, Not two, but three Flesh Eater Quartz start collecting boxes. They've been sitting on my shelf for a little bit saying, please, Ross, build us. And I thought with October the 31st, also known as Halloween coming up, that the best thing that I could do is build them all at once. It's the 23rd. I have eight days. It's 11 p.m. What have I done? What have I done? Yes, Past Ross. What have you done? You've taken on a crazy, self-imposed challenge because you had the great idea to do this video for Halloween and put it off to the 10th hour, both literally and figuratively. But don't worry, Past Ross, and you, the viewer. Since you're hearing my voice, I already know how this ends, but I'll keep it a secret. So, I have eight days to complete this self-imposed challenge. Can I do it? Well, I guess we'll have to see. I'm building nine Crypt Flayers, but Past Ross will call them Vargeists, as that's what the instructions say. But Vargeists are a part of the Soulblight Grave Lords, not Flesh Eater Courts. I chose these mostly because they look the best, and I go with what's cool versus what's this week's current meta. I care more about the visual style of my armies, more than their win percentage in tournaments. And what is cooler visually than an absolute horde of winged monsters? I have no idea. I wish I would have known that the sprues for the flares were all different. By that I mean only one model is contained on each part of the sprue, and not over the entire pack. I'm so used to kits where I have to scour all of the sprues to build each and every model. Had I known that, I would have just arranged them into three piles of the three different poses so I could smash out the three models of the first pose before going to the next one, possibly saving myself a lot of time tonight. An interesting note is that because the Crypt Flare slash Horror Kit is so versatile with the amount of different models it can build, it means I'll have a lot of pieces left over from not building those other options. Hmm. I wonder. Maybe. Just maybe. There's something else that can be done with these pieces. But I digress. Like always, I clipped out all of the pieces, cleaned the mold lines, and used Tamiya Extra Thin Cement to glue them all together. I then used my Not Gore Style Uhu Glue to glue them to their bases. Anyway, back to Talking Head Ross to close out this first day. Well, that's day one done three hours to build the nine Vargeists, courtiers, I don't know, whatever they're called. I did six Vargeists, but I will see you tomorrow for more. Hi everybody, uh, it is day two, October 24th. Uh, as you saw in yesterday's uh, part, 
all I got done was the nine Crypt Flayers, Vargas, Vargeists, you know, th those ones. Um, I did some math and it turns out that there are like 14 models per box and 14 times three is around 42, actually it is 42. It's 42 models. I have 42 models to get done uh, for, well, I guess it's actually the 30th of October, not the 31st because I want this video to come out on the 31st. So I can't really have uh, me do that. So instead of the eight days that I thought I had yesterday, I actually have uh, I had seven days, which means I have six days. Uh, that's going to be a lot because I want to make this this entire uh, army ready to go. Uh, because I may have promised uh, a friend of mine to play against him on November the 2nd. And I would like to have some really good shots of my, uh, of my army that day. So, without further ado, we're just going to get right into it. Before I pressed record, I took a little loose look at the instructions for the Crypt Ghouls, and honestly, these have about zero guesswork in them. Unlike yesterday's models, that you could build two different types with the option to forgo one model in the unit and make a courtier, which I would like to at some point, but I also want this to be a perfectly legal 2000 point army at the end, so no courtiers in this video. I really like the ghoul sculpts, to be honest. And yes, I do know about the leaks of what looks like to be the new ghouls, and I am excited for them as well. Maybe these ones won't have so many gosh darn mold lines. Like, apart from the obvious, dang, these models are just too small and the arms and heads can zip off if you're not careful. There's nothing really wrong with them. Their production date, albeit a whole while ago, isn't even that much of a problem to me. Well, it's the end of day two. Uh, I took about two and a half, three hours to do the Crypt Ghouls. And as you probably just saw, gluing them on was a difficult task. Uh, another difficult task that I have uh, is my phone. I record everything that you see on my cell phone. Uh, Samsung F21 or something like that. It's got a great camera. Uh, but the problem is, is that it doesn't have as much storage space as I want. I've deleted most of the apps, uh, like the games and stuff that I used to have on there. And, uh, most of that is gone now. Uh, Spotify takes up a lot, uh, but I need that when I'm working my other job. But I mean, like I will record and record and record. And as you probably noticed, there are some jumps, uh, in, in day one, there was like, uh, two thirds of what had happened recorded I thought everything was recorded but it wasn't and then tonight 90% of the stuff was recorded but then just the last little bit just kind of cut off and that's due to storage so I, I, I really don't know um, I'm looking into something new uh, I maybe a DSLR maybe an actual camera I don't know but we now have uh, what is this, like 39 of the 42 models built, which is great. Day two, 39 models built, fantastic. Just means that I have the big ones to do tomorrow, which is good uh, as tomorrow is Wednesday and Wednesday is a day that I don't like have Warhammer Underworlds, which is what I usually have on Tuesdays, the, the league that I'm in, uh, Saturdays, Sundays, Mondays, I'm usually streaming over on twitch.tv slash Faustamos. All of the links are actually down below in my uh, description. Fridays, as it gets closer and closer to fallish winter, winterish fall, uh, Last Driving with Joe Bob Briggs comes on on Fridays and I'm with my family for that horror B-movie drive-in type thing. So 
the kind of wipes Friday off. I think I'm good for this Friday though. But uh, Wednesday tomorrow for me, which is gonna be like that for you guys, should be free and clear. I should have like four or five hours to be able to like charge my phone after doing stuff, uh, record, dump, uh, record again, dump again, and then yeah, so I should be able to get that done and hopefully actually gain myself some time. Tomorrow I'm going to actually go over the rest of the game plan because I realize now uh, that I haven't gone over the game plan. I guess I could go over the game plan. So day one, uh, which we've done, was build Crypt Flayers. Uh, day two, which is now Crypt Ghouls. Uh, day three, uh, is Zombie Dragon or Terror Geist? I don't know which one yet. Uh, day four is priming and basing. Like priming and base coding, I should say. Uh, day five, I want to do, you know, painting and maybe shading. Day six, dry brushing. Day seven, the final bits of painting with uh, my... My studio is in a basement and the heater just kicked in. I apologize. Uh, I want to get the last little bit done and then I've got to edit. So yeah, currently right now we're sitting at about well, three hours yesterday, three-ish hours today. So we're about sitting about six hours now uh, in this and uh, we're going to keep the running total. Anyways, I will see you all tomorrow. Hello everyone. Uh, today is day three. It is October 25th. Uh, Wednesday, October 25th at about 1040-ish. Uh, yeah, I'm not looking over there. Uh, whatever. But uh, so today, like I said, day three, we are now going to be doing Zombie Dragon slash Terror Geist. Now, with the Zombie Dragon slash Terror Geist, I want to do a little bit of a different thing. Uh, you've probably seen it before. It's not yet any stretch of any sort of imagination. A me thing, a thing that I do or have done or am thinking up or anything else like that. Uh, magnetizing or making the head swappable so I can change between Terror Geist and Zombie Dragon, as well as making the uh, the Ghoul King uh, attachable and not attachable, just just to give myself a little bit more of a an option is the word. But uh, I talked a lot in the in the scene just before this uh, that I recorded last night, and uh, so I'm just not going to talk as much. And uh, time to get into it, and I say a lot. I found an awesome blog by the name of Dice Be Damned while looking for a guide on how to make the two heads of the dragon magnetizable. Is that a word? Well, spell checker checkered my spelling and yes, it seems that it is. Well, Dice Be Damned actually said that you don't have to magnetize the kit. Because this kit's neck is so tight to lock the two pieces together, you can just use that as your holder and swap out the head that you want to use. If you choose not to have them locked in permanently, that is, and just say that one is the model or the other. Remember my rule of cool? Well, that can work in this situation as well. I didn't want to lock myself onto one head, especially if I wanted to run this in the future with the vampire lord riding the dragon. So I just followed what they said mostly and got it working, mostly. A good secondary rule to follow is that you want to make sure that you seal the painting of the model in so that you don't start sliding off or chipping away the paint natural wear and tear of the models, and also the oil and pressure from your fingers. It's a good rule to have anyway. Make sure that you seal your models when you're done painting them. 
The sealer that I use is the Rust-Oleum 2X Ultra Cover Matte Sp Clear Spray Can. It's cheap, found at Walmart, nearly always in stock, and is fast drying. Word to the wise, make sure you're doing this in a well-ventilated area, and don't do what I do, and do all of my aerosol and airbrush painting in my studio, which is in a windowless basement. Once you spray that stuff, you'll want to clear out of that room for a while, and it's never good if you want to varnish one set of models and work on another. As a side note, I don't think I'm going to be trying too terribly hard to try to fill up the air with my voice. Sometimes it's nice to just sit back, drink your drink, listen to some nice classical music, and watch the magic unfurl on the screen of your choice. Hi everyone, uh, today is day, well, it's technically Friday, uh, but I didn't really do an outro for Wednesday, because this video is for Thursday, uh, because I didn't finish what I set out to do, and my phone overheated, and I just, it's like 2 in the morning like it is now, and I was just ready to go to bed. So I didn't open this one either because it was getting to be about 11 o'clock at night. And I kind of just wanted to get into it and finish the Zombie Dragon Terror Geist as well as the, uh, the Ghoul Kings. 
And as you see, uh, they are all done, which means today when I come back in uh, 12, we'll make it two, we'll start at like 10, 20 hours. When I come back in like 20 hours, I'll be uh, priming and basing and continuing on with the rest of my battle plan because I mean, it's Friday. Tuesday comes quick, and yeah, I still have all of the painting of all these 42. Technically, it's not even 42 models anymore. It's, what, 45 models? Because I'm not doing the, uh, I was going to call the vampire counts. It just shows how old uh, and how much I've been in this game. Uh, the Soul Blight Grave Lords Vampire Lord. I'll do those later. This is Flesh Eater Quartz. We're just doing flesh eater quartz, but I have like six heads for the, the dragons. I've got the three ghoul kings. I've got the dragon bodies. I have the ghouls and I have the flares to get done all primed and based and everything. So yeah, um, a third of the way done, I think. Not half the way done. Three eighths, I don't know, something something maybe i'll figure it out at work but yeah it's uh i think this this is hour nine or twelve our time means nothing in two in the morning but i have to be up in four hours to go to my real job well real job my my eight to five job so i'm gonna go to bed and i will see you at about uh tonight God, I hate that. Tonight! Hey everybody, uh, it is about 11.30 p.m. on Friday, October 27th. Yeah, it's the 27th. I just got done uh, streaming because I stream three, four, five times a week. And it's time to get into the next phase. Uh, building was the first and now we have priming, painting, and all of that, which is the next phase. So uh, I don't really want to waste waste too much time doing a nice little intro today. So I'm just going to cut it off here and uh, get into priming. YouTube's monetization rules say that I cannot swear too much or I'll get into a lot of trouble and get demonetized on this video. If I were to not get in trouble for saying too many curse words, however, this section, the priming stage, using AK's white primer, would be chock full of me yelling and cursing the bottle of primer that I have. I won't go into too many details. Past Ross talks about it, so I'll just say that of the three hours that I primed, and yes, I had to devote a whole day of this challenge to priming. A good 70% or so was me troubleshooting why the paint just wasn't painting like it should. I clean my airbrush regularly, as well as make sure that I mix in the airbrush medium as well as some flow improver and a dash of water. And I mix it really well, and yet I still have troubles. No words, no clue, and in the middle of the night, I'm too tired to fret about something like that. I usually just choose to bash my head against the problem until it fixes itself, and it fixed itself, and then unfixed itself, and then fixed itself, and then unfixed itself, and then fixed itself. I mean, you can tell how many times I tested my airbrush if you take a look at my gloved hand. It's one of the reasons actually why my hand is gloved while I do priming. But I would also like to say thank you to everyone who watches these videos. You've all made it so that this is the first YouTube partnered video of mine. I honestly can say that I didn't see that this was going to be a thing like that. But now it is. I'll do my best to keep you all both entertained and informed. Well, 
that was something. Uh, yeah. I don't know what it is. I gotta look into what's going on with my airbrush. What I'm doing with my airbrush, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but uh, there must be some sort of combination to make sure that I get the uh, the flow consistency. Uh, if anybody has any, any recommendations or something, let me know in the comments below. It only happens when I'm priming, never really happens when I'm when I'm actually painting with my, my airbrush. I don't know what it is. It seems to get clogged and jammed and I almost have to make everything like sweat when I, when I prime with it. But that's gonna be it for tonight. I will see you all tomorrow, uh, the 28th, for the next installment of this, which is base coats and hopefully more. Cause yeah, it gets close. Hey everyone. Uh, it is about 11 o'clock, 11.20 on August the 28th. I just finished streaming, uh, and so I, well, I figured I might as well just sit down. I'm already sitting down and, uh, get to painting the next part, which is, uh, basing. Uh, I've got to put a base coat on these models before I can keep going, so... Might as well keep going and see uh, see how much I can get done today.
Good morning. It is both too early and too late uh, on the 29th, and I am hacking tired. Uh, with the problems that I had with my airbrush and the paint today, has, tonight, you know what I mean, uh, has really been, it's been a bit. Uh, so I'm going to go and sleep and uh, do some some other stuff during the day. I don't even know if like you can hear how tired I am in this uh, little vloggy section. I'm literally holding my head up with my finger. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'll see you later. Well, today is, uh, I was gonna say October, August, October, October. Today is October 29th, uh, about 10.30 p.m. And basically the second last day. And I have only a couple things left. I have uh, brush painting of all of the models and the basing to do, so I'm going to see if we can get this all done today. Uh, if not, that means it spills into tomorrow, and uh, then tomorrow is very long, so let's try I don't know if you can see, I've got terrible bags in my eyes. I, this was not a smart project to do, but we're doing it anyways, we're gonna see it through, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna push it out just a little bit more, so you push it out just a little more. All right, let's go. And now we come to the painting, the rocks. Being of rocky type needs to be gray. So I chose Vallejo's medium sea gray. I think I use this gray more often than any other gray I have. And I have like four different grays. I think that's three more than I need, apparently. The flares. Oh look, I got it right. The flares have fur. Or is it hair? Whatever. And it can't be gray or based. So I chose Parasite Brown by Vallejo. And with a bit of water mixed into it, so it has sort of a replication of wash shade paint job. I painted it all on and over the hairy bits of the flares and the ghouls so that all of the models that have hair are painted similarly. Dragons have these exposed flesh parts that G-dubs painted red, so I decided that I would try it myself, but use Citadel Blood Angel's red contrast instead. I quite like contrast paints, but I try to use them only sparingly, as it is just another tool in my kit and not the only piece that I can use. And then it came to shading. As I'm a painter of habit and predictability, I used Agrax Earthshade. This is one of the new bottles, you know, the more expensive for less materials one. I slathered and gently smothered every model in the stuff using my not dry brush, but definitely could have been a dry brush brush. At the end of the shading, it turned out that I used about half a bottle. Half a bottle 
of this new, more expensive stuff. Well, it is two o'clock in the morning on October the 30th. Approximately, I don't know, what is that? 22 hours, 22 hours before Halloween. I have another day. I know I do, I do a lot of air quotes, don't I? I'm always like, hey guys, hi. My name? No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, I should not be talking at two in the morning. Can you see these? This is a crazy challenge. Why did I think that this was a good challenge? This is insane. I mean, I have no other time apart from the middle of the night. And I really hope that my dryer is not uh, being picked up. Sorry, I'm getting off topic. Um, I think that I have to call this challenge here. I will do a, a nice big sweep and probably put it in here and make everything all, all nice and whatnot on uh, like when I get back from work uh, today, actually today. But I kind of run out of time. I slept yesterday, uh, like the, 20, no, the 28th to the 29th, so Saturday to Sunday. I slept like 40 minutes. Uh, I had like two 20 minute naps. I've been getting like ridiculously little amount of sleep so I could do something like this. Uh, but like challenge completed, oh there, there, there I go again. Challenge completed, uh, they are all three colored. Uh, all of my flesh eater cords are all in three colors. They are battle ready. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is call it here, make a nice little outro like, Thank you everybody for, uh, for, for joining me in this. I know this is longer than what I normally do, but uh, I really enjoyed, like I really did enjoy this. I really did enjoy doing this video and taking three start collecting boxes and making an entire army. Uh, I, I, in, in the description below, as you probably already noticed, but there will be the army breakdown. Now it is missing a couple of other things like the Charnel Throne, uh, which is free points wise, not uh, free payment wise. I just, local game store didn't have it. And I was like, you know what? I want to get this done. I want to get this on. 
I want to give everybody like a bonus episode. Bonus episode, as you probably already noticed, I released a video last week. And as soon as that video was done, I think it was done on Monday, uh, but it released on Wednesday like I normally do. I threw everything that I could into doing this video. So technically, I have four zombie dragons or terror guys. I'm not going to include that other one in this because I don't think that that's fair to say, oh yeah, so actually I do have summons for this this army because I have a fourth uh, zombie dragon or terror guys, whichever one I want to put into the army. And so would you, you would have this at this point, but if you followed that video, went out before, I guess today, for you guys, because this will be on Halloween. Happy Halloween. I have a Halloween costume. Should I grab it? I'm gonna grab it. Happy Halloween, everybody. This is my, this is my costume. I feel like a clown doing this. I don't, I don't, do I keep this on? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it on. Heck it. Uh, so like, happy Halloween. Uh, if you've been following along since last week and you've made yourself a couple extra zombie dragons or terror guys, A, just make sure that you've got, I think it's two or three uh, extra from the, from the start collecting box, like as addition to the start collecting boxes. And you can run with blister skin, I think it is them as battle line instead of them being other choices. So you can have just zombie dra dragons and terror guys. And I think one unit of crypt flares, but I'm gonna call it here. I'm gonna say thank you very much uh, for being here. There's gonna be some outro music. There's going to be like a nice little like panoramic view, but Thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate if you've watched this entire thing, or even if you've just come to this end and decided to say, hey, what did that guy look then and now? And how is this funny? Tell me, is it funny? Is it funny? Do I look really tired? Uh, I feel like I do. I feel like these bags under my eyes. I'm, I've been ranting for five minutes. It has a, a, a thing right there that's like five minutes, eight seconds. Anyways, I'm done. Uh, if you liked what you saw, don't forget to give a like, comment, subscribe if you are new, comment. I try to answer all of my comments uh, with comments of my own. I try to like them and heart them if I really do like them. And uh, yeah, hit that notification bell. I'll see you next uh, in like two weeks or so. I don't know, I might take a break, I might not. Uh, something happened on Warhammer Community a couple days ago that for this army was fantastic, but I'm not gonna get into there. I want you to go take a look and see if you can find the passage, the two sentences that made my month. Anyways, bye.